Welcome to the Munif Ali Podcast. I'm your host, Munif. Each Monday on this show, I bring you unfiltered discussions on the latest trends in finance, real estate, and crypto, and personal development to help you achieve your utmost potential. If you want to learn how to be the best and be financially free, this is the place to be. So let's get it started. When you were in your 20s, maybe you enjoyed a little bit of partying here or there, or had a keg or a funnel in your mouth. I don't know what you did, but you had a lot more freedom when you were in your 20s. And once you reach your 30s, that's the age when you probably try to step up your, in your career, you try to step up in your life, maybe you're getting married. Things are getting a lot more serious, and it shouldn't stop with just your job or just your savings as well. I'm your host, Munif Ali. I'm a self-made multimillionaire who built multiple brick and mortar businesses with billions of dollars of sales. If you want to become financially independent, you've come to the right place. We discuss unfiltered opinions and tips about the latest trends in the world of finance and personal development. The very first thing to do is start NOW right now. You're still relatively young. You have time to retire with millions of dollars if you start by monitoring your income and your expenses. You'll be shocked how much money flows through our hands. And so by monitoring your income and expenses, you'll know what amount you can allocate to your savings and paying your debts. Speaking of debt, you need to first start out by paying your debt now. Those crazy ass student loans and those credit cards and personal loans and car loans, if you can't pay them right now, at least make an effort to have a plan. What's important is that you settle your debts as soon as you can so you can avoid interest rates and penalties. And then you can utilize that money for your savings and your emergency funds instead. Every added dollar spent in interest is hurting your multi-million dollar retirement plan. You don't have to cash out everything in savings and you don't have to deposit thousands of dollars right away. Take small steps. Start out with a couple of dollars until you're comfortable setting aside hundreds of dollars and then thousands of dollars. Visualize yourself in the future. How do you want to see your life when you're 60 years old? By planning your future now, it's easier for you to take the necessary steps to get to your goal. And what is your retirement date? Do you even know? Do you wanna have a more active lifestyle? Do you wanna retire? Do you wanna go see the world? Do you wanna travel? Do you wanna sail? What do you wanna do? Have all of that as part of your retirement planning so you know exactly what your goals are. Then maybe it's time to list all of the places and research how much it's gonna cost for you to live in Florida or Arizona or Thailand. Or maybe you simply just wanna save for your children's future. Then prioritize investing on those type of legacy building plans. By doing these little things, you're more focused on your goals and you'll end up purchasing investments that make sense rather than just willy-nilly, I'm gonna buy here or there. And instead, of, and instead of buying those designer shoes that you can barely afford, maybe you can have a much better life in your latter years and you won't end up wearing a Walmart vest later on because you just didn't save. But it kills me to see older people work, you know? Because it's like, huh, that's the time they should be spending to do. I get some people want to work because they want to remain active, but that's not always the case. I think that we're being hopeful because they'd much rather be doing something else, I'm sure. Aside from government and financial companies, you can also check your company's workplace contributions. While you're in your 30s, you can choose a 401k, a 403b, a thrift savings plan, and contribute the maximum of 20,500. Having the company you work for deduct your savings automatically from your payments will help you avoid unnecessary expenses and time. It's easy to get tempted to spend your money when you can grasp it or see it available on your debit card. But it automatically is gone to retirement, so you won't even notice. Hi, this is Munif Ali, and welcome to my podcast. If you want to become wealthier and become limitless, this podcast is for you. 
In each episode, I'll be helping you on your journey of personal development and financial independence. We'll be discussing the latest trends in finance, in investing, and in real estate, and ways to become successful. Make sure you follow me on YouTube and across all the social media platforms so you can get your hands on real value. When someone saves, it's less tempting to waste the money because you actually see your future self having and using it, and your future self thanks you already. Aside from participating in workplace contributions, you can also create an individual retirement account or an IRA outside of your job. You can pick a traditional IRA where you will have tax-deferred income and withdrawals, or a Roth IRA where you can have tax-free income and withdrawals, both are beneficial. For now, just know that you have an option to make an IRA outside of your company, both with a minimum of a $6,000 contribution as of right now. Both will give you tax deduction benefits, and both of these will definitely help you hit your retirement goals while you're in your 30s, especially with benefits of adding those maximum contributions once you're in your 50s. That million dollar future isn't so far away. Thanks for tuning in. Make sure that you leave a rating on my podcast as it will help us continue this show. Share this with your friends and family so I can reach out to more people and help them reach their goals in life. I hope that you could join us on the next episode of the Munif Ali podcast. So catch you soon.